If you want to save time by using AI to help edit your YouTube videos, I got you. I'm going to walk you through some of the most tedious tasks when it comes to editing YouTube videos and how you can use AI to do them. Stick around till the end because I'm going to show you how you can get AI to analyze your previous videos and give you tips to improve the editing going forward. Every week I create three or more talking head long form YouTube videos like this one. I research them, script them, record them, edit, publish all by myself. How do I do it? I have learned to embrace AI in order to keep up with the workflow. So I use AI for the things that take me the most time, the things that I'm not good at, and the things that I hate doing. And that's how you should use AI. Not to take over the things that you like to do and that you're good at, but to speed up the parts that aren't your strengths. At the time of filming this video, I have not found a worthwhile AI tool to enhance footage. This means that you have to prioritize the filming process because your edit is only as good as the footage that you have to work with. So before you even record, consider having AI give you filming advice. Put your video script or outline into Google Gemini and write the prompt, what are some creative ways that I can film this script? Make this guide for a, and then beginner, intermediate, or advanced, YouTuber. Now, you also want to make sure that you have lots of B-roll footage to put over top of your video. This is going to change up the video and pull the viewer along more. After you put your outline or your script into Google Gemini, this chat is now primed to be talking about your YouTube videos. So write the prompt, generate a detailed shot list for my video of additional footage that I should capture when filming. Now you have expert advice and a list of footage to capture which is going to make sure that you get the best possible edit. Now, for some of these next tips, we are going to head over to an online video editor called Riverside. You can upload your raw footage to the platform. So here I have some A-roll footage of a talking head video that I created. I'm just going to head into the Riverside editor, and in here there are a ton of AI integrations designed to make editing easier. One of the first steps when it comes to editing a YouTube video is to remove all of your mistakes from your raw footage. Depending on your experience level, this can take forever. But Riverside has actually transcribed your video, and you can edit it through the text. So you would just highlight what you want deleted out of the video, press delete on your keyboard, and that section will be deleted out of the final video. So this allows you to skim through your footage so much quicker. Now, maybe you don't really know what to do with your video and how to edit it together. Once you've deleted all of the parts that you want removed from the video, so you have your A roll cut together, you can copy the transcript right here and then head over to Google Gemini. And in that same conversation that you had with it earlier, write the prompt, this is a transcription of my final video. Give me an outline of how I should edit it together with the footage I captured from the shot list. Now you can just follow along to this. Now, audio is just as important as video, but unlike your video footage, your audio can be enhanced in post-production with AI. In this AI producer section, you're going to see a suite of AI editing tools. This set pace tool is going to allow you to remove as much or as little silence from your recording as you'd like, It'll also delete the video that's attached to those silences so that the video stays in sync. When you're editing a YouTube video, it's very important that everything that is said has value. You know what doesn't have value? Filler words like um and like, and taking these out one by one can take a long time. With this smooth speech button, you can take out all of those filler words from your video in one click. Now, maybe you have a video where there are two people talking and one person has really bad audio and therefore it makes the whole video sound bad. This magic mute button is going to mute individual tracks when there's no talking. Speaking of bad audio, you can also enhance your audio to studio quality with one click using this magic audio button. Or maybe you just wanna remove background noise from your video. You can do this right before you export by selecting remove background noise. Captions are a great addition to help pull the viewer along and make your video accessible to everyone. Your captions will be created automatically from your transcript, so all you have to do is edit them to fit your style. Now the rest of the editing is up to you. You can export this video in up to 4K so that you can import it into your video editor of choice and do all your fancy edits, 
or you can continue editing this video right here in the Riverside editor. I'll link a video above on how to edit a video using Riverside. And I'll also leave a link to try out Riverside in the description of this video. Now you stuck around till the end, here is the ultimate hack to making sure that you are improving your videos every single time. Once your video has been published to YouTube, you're going to want to take that link, insert it into your chat with Google Gemini, and write the prompt, here is the final YouTube video. Watch it and give me expert tips on how I can improve the video editing style in my next video. There you go, your very own video editing mentor. If you are interested in learning to use Riverside to edit a YouTube video, I will leave a video here for you to watch next. If you liked this video, I would love it if you gave it a thumbs up to let me know and consider subscribing for more ways to speed up your content creation workflow. My name is Bridget O'Rourke. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.